Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. Around two years ago I created a review video on the Ecotech MP40 Quiet Drives, a powerhead which is known for being the premium end of the market with regards to both quality and price. Like many of the review videos on YouTube regarding this powerhead, my initial thoughts were positive. However, what I've noticed is very few people actually have gone back and created a second review video after using the product for a period of time. After all, shouldn't everything work at the beginning? For this reason, I've started to return to some of the products I previously reviewed to give an honest perspective of how they've done in a real world scenario after an extended period of time. Having the correct flow in an aquarium is one of the key factors to success in keeping your livestock healthy and happy. In the wild, reefs have very turbulent water. These turbulence create a varied flow which come in contact with the corals from all different angles. In doing this, it provides essential elements for health and growth directly to the coral's tissue, while also removing unwanted waste products. This should be replicated in the home aquarium, as it also creates an oxygen-rich environment, stabilises pH, and helps to keep solid particles suspended in the water column to allow your filtration to remove them. I'll be honest with you, in the past I always purchased cheap powerheads, and at first I was interested to see what noticeable differences I could see long term by using one of the best brands on the market. Although this is a two year review, let me take you back to the beginning. The quality starts as soon as you pick up the box. It has a sleek, minimalistic design, which is what I would expect from a premium product, and although the packaging isn't essential, it's still a nice touch. Upon opening the box, you'll find the easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions, external motor or dry side, the pump or wet side, complete with sponge guard, which is useful for those of you that have an anemone, because we all know that they like to go for the occasional walk. You also get the quiet drive controller, power cords, glass spacers and even some cable ties to keep everything tidy. As I mentioned, there is both a wet and dry side. This is a unique design where the motor is kept on the outside of the tank, while the propeller is on the inside. This is a brilliant design for several reasons. Firstly, it keeps any unsightly wires out of the tank, it's easy to remove for maintenance, and you can even purchase a separate wet side, so you can simply remove the dirty one, replace it with the clean one, and then clean the dirty one whenever you have time. It also doesn't introduce unwanted heat or stray voltage into the water, meaning it's a safer option as occasionally cables do perish. Installation onto the side of the aquarium is extremely easy. Measure the width of the glass panel, remember to always measure the side you're actually going to place the pump on, as not all sides are always equal thickness. Select the correct spacer, place the motor onto the outside of the tank, and then simply line up the pump and let the magnets do the rest. Plug the motor cable into the controller and you're ready to go. This was when I realised just what a difference this product would make to my tank. I remember that almost instantly large amounts of detritus were stirred up, suggesting that my previous flow pattern had become stagnant, allowing uneaten food and waste to settle on the bottom of the tank and decay. By doing this, it significantly increased the productivity of my protein skimmer as it then had access to that waste. The four main issues I had with my old power heads were noise, stagnant flow, they were visually unappealing, and after a period of time they would start to give off stray voltage, giving me the occasional electric shock, which meant it was time to replace them. The easiest of those points to demonstrate is the aesthetics of the MP40. I've always seen the reef tank as essentially a piece of moving artwork, and the low profile, sleek, modern design fits into that perfectly. Most pumps and powerheads become a little noisier over time than when they first come out of the box, however I'm delighted to say that they are still just as quiet as the day I installed them. I'm one of those people that is constantly trying to find new ways to make my system as quiet as possible, and apart from the noise which is coming from my protein skimmer, since adding these, my tank is virtually silent. With regards to the flow pattern and direction, my sand also appears to be much whiter than before. I believe this is because they're much better at keeping the particles suspended in the water column. Although not essential, I like to change the flow settings at least once a month to mix things up, which is literally just the click of a button. In the past, I also had issues with large quantities of sand being dropped onto my plating Montiporus by my fish. This doesn't seem to happen anymore, as the wide varied flow soon blows it back off the coral and onto the floor. The black controller is extremely easy to use, with just three buttons and a dial for adjusting the flow speed. 
It comes pre-programmed with six operation modes. Reef Crest, Lagoon, Gyre, Short Pulse, Tidal Swell, and Nutrient Transport. Each of these has a brief description of what it does in the setup guide. However, if you need more information on setting them up, Ecotech were kind enough to upload some easy to follow videos online. My favourite feature, however, hasn't changed since day one. Feed mode is incredibly useful for some of my slower swimmers, such as my box and cowfish. These fish aren't the fastest, most graceful swimmers, and they can have trouble competing with my tangs for frozen food, which is usually gone within seconds. Fortunately, they're more than willing to accept some other types of food, including pellets. By turning the powerheads into feed mode, it allows the pellets to stay floating at the surface, where they pick them off one at a time at their leisure, while the other fish are distracted by the sinking ones. The controller lights up to give you a visual representation of exactly which mode and speed the pump is currently running. You also have the ability to control them wirelessly on a handheld device via EcoSmart Live using the ReefLink. There are two significant claims which Ecotech make about this pump. The first and most importantly is that it's virtually silent, and the second is just how powerful it is, with a flow rate of 70,000 litres or 4,500 gallons per hour. I'm running them at just less than 50%, which is more than enough power for my tank, and even when it's running at 100%, the sound is still virtually non-existent. The flow is distributed evenly across a wide area, and even corals directly in front of it don't get blasted, which was a problem for me previously. It can be dialed up and down to suit your requirements, and this means that when you get that inevitable upgrade, all you need to do is turn the dial up and you're good to go. I remember being a little sceptical with regards to how much difference a pump can make, but having used it for two years, the results with regards to coral health speak for themselves. I can also honestly say that I've not received a single electric shock since installing them, which is the major safety benefit of having the cables outside the tank. Finally, the last and probably most important thing to mention is that it's compatible with a battery backup pack, which will kick in in case of emergency. You'll hear me talk about this time and time again because I experienced firsthand just how quickly things can go wrong. So please take my advice and if you don't already have some sort of battery backup, make this your next purchase. To briefly sum up, you get an incredibly powerful, easily programmable, aesthetically pleasing pump, and having experienced them for two years, I can honestly say they're worth every penny. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a good week and I'll see you next time.